got great energy. The mother man swept through. The hard to seek champion of VK, they're gonna go. The last fight is in! Hello rugby fans, I'm Dallin Stanford and welcome to our second episode of Dallin Explained Sevens, focusing this week on defence ahead of the annual Rugby Town Sevens tournament. They say defence wins you tournaments and whoever came up with that truism is 100% correct. The Rambling Jesters were crowned 2019 Rugby Town Sevens champions and what got them the $10,000 prize money was their team defence. Watch how organised the Jesters are against Marlboro Compete, who is stacked with Sevens World Series players forcing the dangerous winger inside the last defender, then applying pressure until an error creeps in. In this play, we see a brilliant bit of individual defence on the tournament's most dangerous attacker, Marcus Tupuolo. It's so tough to defend a speedster who can step, but on this occasion, it's the line speed and leg drive from Marlboro Compete that stops the jester winger in his tracks. Tupuolo, the danger man. This time, for Liki Japan, he says no, no. Defensively, the goal is not to give the opposition the outside gap especially if you happen to have seven defenders and the attackers are down to six. This is pure class from the US Army and Jacob Lakina exposing an error in judgment. So it gives Holder a chance with six players to take possession. And then they'll just go into keep away phase with Lakina. Lakina goes in, he goes out, Lakina! Keep the change! Remember the name, Jacob Lakina. That's one way of playing keep away, I guess. <laughs> Just hang on to the ball. <laughs> Two tries for Lakina. Defense is also about being aware of what's in front of you. Here's some clever thinking from the entertaining pest that is the Jester's halfback catching the Barbados defenders off guard. What a kick off by Roach. A yellow card in seven sees a player leave the field for two minutes. In 15s, it's 10 minutes. An area which is closely monitored by the referee is intentionally knocking the ball down instead of intercepting it. The result is most likely two minutes in the sin bin. As Turner, oh, another great kickoff. This one comes down. It's batted there by Corey Jones. Eventually comes to Tiger's side. Sean. Over the top he goes. It's been knocked. That could be a yellow card. We're going to go to the pocket here. Oh, down to six. Keep the change. If someone slows play down, like the US Army player did here, throws the ball away, or doesn't place it on the ground as the referee awards the penalty against them, they will be sent from the field. Was the army side, and this will be a yellow card. Down to six players. There's now a chance here for the Air Force. It's Cody Melfi into the bin. Having only six players is extremely tiring on defense. Some teams play six up and leave space behind the defensive line, where there would normally be a final defender. Call the fullback in 15s, but in sevens, it's known as a sweeper. With Cody Melfi off the field, the US Army played six up on defense, which means once the Air Force broke the line, they cruised through to touch down an excellent five pointer. Air Force for the line, Vogel, look at him run, he'll get there, US Air Force still in Vogel. The role of the sweeper is to collect any kick throughs or to stop any line breaks from being converted into tries. Here the SoCal Griffin sent in their sweeper to plug a small hole and in the end delivered a bone jarring hit that resulted in seven points for his side. Fantastic from the chicken smoothie himself. Ball in midfield now. Borelek scored one, has another crack. Oh, and he's absolutely crunched like a Dorito. Throws the intercept pass, and they'll race away with this one. And it's going to be Jeremiah Munoz for the SoCal Griffins. That has sun shining in his face and a smile on the inside as well. If the sweeper is not close enough to prevent a certain try, then the goal is to force the attacker to score as far from the poles as possible to make the conversion more difficult. Perry Gonzalez has legs for days and bus free, but sweeper Cody Melfi does a fine job of forcing him to score further away from the uprights. They're going to race away and score this try. Percy Gonzalez, well, one of the top ranked power lifters in his division. The reason why coaches focus on defense is that the most difficult part of sevens is stopping a quality outfit from scoring. Attacking the breakdown on defense, which in sevens usually only has one rucker protecting the ball, is a very effective method of stealing possession. Then, with ball in hand from the turnover, you have a jagged defensive line that can be exploited like Marlboro Compete did here. Oh, the counter though has come through. Compete, this is what they're so good at. McGill on the field. Joe McGill, he's got Nanduba with him. Comes across here to Tamai Vena. He has a couple of steps himself. Tamai Vena's fresh legs! This guy is fully charged, you will not catch him! Sealy Tamai Vena is 26 seconds older than his brother, and this guy gets them much closer now. Compi. 
Here's another superb example of how quickly you can turn defense into attack. Tiger Rugby had a great lineout, but on this occasion a slight throw in error led to disaster for them and heroics for the two sevens World Series standouts from Fiji. Forgive you, <laughs> Over I the like top. You, oh no, the Lampos has this. Mothanathangi Nanduba, the combination! Nanduba! He's been chased all the way. This guy runs like a llama and has the try. Fantastic! Let's finish with the champion jesters. They held their shape on D, and as soon as the ball was available, they pounced on it like a hungry mouse on a block of cheese. So we'll stay with Nola Gold as Taylor Helm is very direct with his charges, saying you've got to put your body on the line. Ludwig van der Maver is on the field. Turns inside for the switch to Tonga Wiha. Low ball there to take, but they do well with Muna. The ball is there, though. Roach has it. Roach! Again, he's a pest. The ball kicked her from the Prince. Dives on this one. Rowland does well. Jesters have turned around. Kenny Kenelau! He's more elusive than Bigfoot. Naka! Kenny Kenelau! Has put down try number five for the Jesters. You saw all the skills on display here. The first it was a defense. Every time they threw a ball, there was a man right there for the Ramblin Jesters. The toe ahead. Watch the toe. The difficult pick up here. The toe ahead here as well. And then instead of forcing something here, Roland just set the rock. And then it was Naka Kini Kini Lao that finishes it off. But that, again, the wonderful team try we've seen all weekend. So impressed by the squad. That's all for now on Dallin Explained Sevens. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to watch next week as we review attacking in the game of Sevens. Be sure to rewatch the 2019 Rugby Town Sevens from beginning to end on August 21st, 22nd, and 23rd as we restream the entire 20 along with added commentary and interviews with your favorite Sevens stars. Watch live online or on the Rugby Town USA app.